all right guys welcome back to another video it's your man j will so i wanted to talk about my first 24 hours with the samsung galaxy note 9 i'm going to cover a few things in here uh, that, that really stand out to me and uh, we're going to get this video popping so let's get into it so first thing i want to say is i apologize i'm a little under the weather so if i sniffle or something like that my bad uh, but the first thing i noticed when i took this phone out of the box was the display the phone has a 6.4 inch quad hd display and it's a super amoled and it is off the charts you probably hear a lot of people that have this phone say that samsung makes the best displays i've said it a thousand times too there's just not any oem out there that i think displays are good enough to stand next to samsung displays i have a lot of phones out there but this phone right here in my hand this phone right here when you're using it for media content, it's ridiculous. If you're using it for emails, you just have a huge canvas and it's just amazingly sharp. It's just beautiful. I keep my display set at Quad HD because it's a Quad HD display. I'm not going to tone it down to get extra battery and things like that. I want to see it all. I want all the vivid colors, everything. And I think right now, this display, just like I thought that Galaxy Note 8's display was killing it, this one is on the next level you get a point one more you get a 6.4 you get a little bit more but you can't really tell the difference but what you can do is you can enjoy this beautiful display man it's off the charts so another thing that i've heard people talk about is the hardware on the phone besides the display i'm talking about like the camera and all this and they reposition the fingerprint reader they did all these things but i gotta tell you the repositioning of the fingerprint reader was right on time. They got it in the right spot. Even if you have big hands or small hands, you'll be able to reach that that, that fingerprint reader. You should be able to do it more, a little bit more comfortable than the Galaxy Note 8 I got sitting over there. I was super bummed out that they put that, that reader up so high. And I used facial recognition with that one. Well, I use facial recognition with, with this one as well. Uh, but that fingerprint reader is right on time, so I find myself using it a little bit more. Now, Samsung, um, my model actually has a dual SIM. Shout out to the duals version. <laughs> Shout out to Techzilla, he's got one too. Um, and he's probably gonna get you know, because he's over in the UK, I believe. So he's gonna, you know, he needs to get that version. And he gets to, he gets to enjoy the, the same model as me with the Exynos processor uh, with the dual SIM. I don't know why Samsung doesn't offer a dual SIM for the US models. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Most people have more than one phone, you know what I'm saying? Phone number. And it's convenient to put them both in here when you're traveling or something like that. If you just say you did, you had one just for phone calls and you had the other one for data, you can set that up. So um, they they do include an SD card slot in there, even though it's a dual SIM, it's, the, it's a hybrid SIM tray. Uh, where you can put two SIMs or you can put a SIM and an SD card. Uh, but this phone has 128 gigs in it. And then also, you know what I'm saying, you got an SD card slot, so that's a huge plus. You do have the uh, headphone jack on the bottom. Uh, Samsung, I, I, I love that they're staying true to this and they're keeping the headphone jack. You know, that's something. And again, I don't have to have a headphone jack at this point in the game because I have so many Bluetooth headphones, but I've said it in another video. My main headphones, which I haven't reviewed on the channel, I just, I just don't feel comfortable promoting $300 headphones. Uh, but they're my headphones. They're the, the one of the latest Sony headphones. You've heard me, probably heard me say that in another video. They're awesome. You know what I'm saying? So, and they they're not Bluetooth. You know, they're 3.5. So, um, I need that for certain devices, and I use it. I don't take those to the gym or anything like that. They're strictly if I'm, I want to hear real sound, quality sound. And the fact that Samsung is giving me a headphone jack, I'm I, salute, man, for real. Now Samsung. Um, slip one under the under the radar with us, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not disappointed. I'm just saying, why do we have Quick Charge 2.0? Like, come on, Samsung, why can't we get Quick Charge 3.0 on this thing? It's kind of you put a five a four thousand milliamp hour battery inside, and then you give us Quick Charge 2.0. Come on, son, stop the madness, man. The average consumer doesn't really understand like a person who's not into tech is not tech savvy and they still buy the note they're not even going to know anything about quick charge 2.0 they're not even going to care about it they're going to think their phone charges really fast but quick charge 3.0 should be on this phone and there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't be i think they're playing it safe like that because of you know what happened with the note 7 i don't know uh but 3.0 should be on this phone man it really should but other than that man you've got um stereo speakers 
you know, obviously you have the the S Pen. You know what I'm saying? That's I got a full video on sweet uh, a video on the S Pen. If it's not up right now, it'll be up in the next day or so, depending on when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video, you know, uh, at the end of September or something like that, yeah, go check out the S Pen video. Uh, but the S Pen is where it's at, man. I've been, I, I did a full suite of video on the S Pen, and um, I won't get into it in this video. I'm just gonna tell you that it's boss, like it's 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 boss. Uh, the camera review, that video is going live soon. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, it might already be live. I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. <laughs> These cameras are crushing everything, man. <laughs> the rear cameras are crushing everything, son. The the problem though, the problem though, and some people tried to get on to me last time. Not that I really care, but it was like, well, why do you need to record unlimited or 4K at 60 frames per second? Cause I want to, man. You know, if you, what's the purpose of having this if the device you're not gonna allow us to do that? You know, that's one thing I love about the iPhone, man. I don't have to worry about. Um, heating and all this other stuff. This has the cooling system in the inside, remember? The cooling system, why do I have to have a limit on 4K at 60 frames per second? It's not just Samsung, it's other companies too. I don't even need to get into it. But Apple, I love you for that, man. Don't, don't limit me on this. I got all this memory and I gotta do five minute increments at 4K at 60 frames per second. If I have a phone that does 4K at 60 frames per second, I don't shoot anything else with it. I'm going full, I'm going all in. I want the best from only that's the best filming on this phone right here so why can't I have unlimited recording I mean if anybody disagrees with me yo I respect that but I, I, that's why I'm not like I said before I'm not turning down the display to 1080p if I want a 1080p display I go ahead and get a 1080p phone but if I want a quad HD display I'm gonna leave it at quad HD I want to record in 4k at 60 FPS I'm leaving it at that setting and that's my setting one plus though no pun intended one plus is that the phone has high efficiency mode and it's even like that on the galaxy note 8 as well and shout out to that uh that dude back in the day i forgot his name he hit me up in the comments was like yo jay you know because i don't know everything you know what i'm saying so are you a tech reviewer you're supposed to know it all before you do man get out of here with that i'm a regular person trying to figure this stuff out like everybody else i don't claim to be an artist or this big fancy person that knows everything about phones the guy told me about efficiency mode and it's on this phone too so that's hotness right there that's fire uh that you can do efficiency mode but you can't share it anywhere you can't really use the footage anywhere you know what i'm saying and samsung puts that in the software they put that in the software so you know the hardware is hot man you know i spent a little bit of time on it you know what i'm saying but using this phone i'm trying to give you all i could give you to tell you how i feel about it so far and the hardware you know they're offering so much it's crazy now, an area where I did a video on and it's already out, I'm sure it's been out for a couple of days or a day or so at least, is the battery. Now, this is the Exynos version, and I don't think that means jack when it comes to the battery. I battery my I did a I did a cycle on my I did a video on my first 24 hour cycle with the phone, right? And I got 17 hours and 45 minutes of off the entire charge, and I ran it down to five five percent. And then I got five and a half hours of screen on time. Now, I'm not saying that's bad battery life. Five and a half hours of screen on time is fantastic. But what I don't like is having to charge within the same day. I don't like to, I don't like to be on the charger the same day. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to check it right now. Everybody's like, oh, I'm getting this banging, um, I'm getting this boss battery. I'm, that's good screen on time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I got over almost two and a half hours of screen on time now and um, I still got 70% left. So I know I'm going to average about five and a half to six and a half hours of screen on time based on how I use the phone. But this will pan out later. Like that was just my first time doing my first cycle with it, right? So um, as I use the phone more, probably by like a month or so, I'll really start to get the just of the battery life because that's how it was with my Galaxy Note. When I first did the uh, update to Oreo, when it first got the update or whatever, the battery life, the battery drain was sick. It, but all of a sudden, I didn't do a factory reset, reset or nothing. I just, I just kept using it, and eventually, now on the Galaxy Note, I'm getting this kind of battery life, five to six hours of screen on time, and that only has a 3,300 milliamp hour battery inside. So, I'm pretty sure 
that this phone right here is going to start getting some fantastic battery life. I'm, I'm certain of it, man. It's, it, it's going to pick up. Now, another area um, that's new on this phone, that's a part of the hardware, I didn't discuss it before, is the stereo speakers. Now, um, the stereo speakers and the headphone jack are supposed to be tuned by AKG, but I'll say this. The stereo speakers on here are better than the speaker on the Galaxy Note 8. These speakers aren't mind-blowing, but I guess if you have stereo speakers at all, if you're used to a single firing speaker, you're gonna think that it's just mind-boggling if that's all you've ever known, but um, the iPhone X speakers and the iPhone 8 Plus speakers, the um, Asus Zenfone 5, all my other stereo speakers, uh, the Axons, they are loud, and they sound good, you know what I'm saying? So, I actually think that the Galaxy, Note, uh, the Galaxy S9 Plus speakers are really, really good, man. And they might be on, this one might be on par with the Galaxy S9 Plus speakers. Um, I don't know, but these are nice stereo speakers in here. Um, but, you know, they're not just, it's just because it's got two, the two speaker setup. I would prefer the two grills on the front, but that's just me. Uh, but, you know, the speakers are good. I'm not saying the speakers are bad. I'm just saying that in my experience, I don't think that they're just groundbreaking like I've been hearing a lot of people say. Because... You know, some of those people probably don't have a lot of phones and uh, to compare it to. So, you know, they just kind of going off what they know. And that doesn't mean that they're wrong. That just means that in my in my opinion, these speakers are good, not this fantastic, mind-blowing sound. Performance on here, man. I haven't changed the animations or anything like that. I haven't even activated developer mode or nothing like that. But I have this version right here. I can root this version because this is the international mod. I got this from Australia. So I can root this. Everybody like, oh, you can root it. You got the Exynos version, you can root it. I'm not really into rooting anymore, but um, I could root it if I wanted to and, and tweak it a little bit, but I'm not messing with it, man. As far as I see it, the performance on here is good enough for me for what I do. And I mean, really, that's, that's all I got to say about that. There's nothing more that I need from this phone that's going to make me say, oh, man, it's running horrible. I mean, I got six gigs of RAM to help, you know, help me with the applications that are open and closing and stuff like that. And um, I'm loving it, man. I mean, the performance is fast enough for me. It's got a buttery smooth feel to it. Um, I'm loving the S Pen, like I said before. And uh, I just feel it's a good it's a good look by Samsung. I wish they would release a stock version of this phone uh, because putting the skin on it, putting Nova Launcher, that's not the same. You know what I mean? So... If they strip it down and just make it an Android One version or a Google Play version, that will be hot right there. That will be hot. So, anyway, man. Um, overall, you know, I I just feel like this is a hot phone, man. It's one of the best phones I've held in my hand in a long time since the Galaxy Note Eight, and really the Galaxy Note Seven was kind of like my favorite device. And I really thought about getting a fan fan edition. Uh, that's kind of like a collector's item, obviously. It's a fan edition, so. Um, but I'd hate to put this down. Me and my Galaxy Note 9. So fire, man. You know, I got the color I want. I'm rocking with this for a long time, man. I'm rocking with it. I, I can't even tell you um, how happy I am to have this color. <laughs> you have no idea, bro. You have no idea. This is nice. I don't foresee myself putting this down for a long time. Even if you don't have this version or this color, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the Exynos version or you don't have the, the copper, metallic copper, you're still a boss, though, as far as I know. You got a Galaxy Note 9, you're a boss. You got a Galaxy S9 Plus, S9, Galaxy Note 8, you're in boss status. You're in boss status. But this is the king right here for now. I hate to come clean, I hate to come out so forward already, but you know what I'm saying I have a lot of phones and I haven't even compared this to anything. This is gonna turn out to be the king, man. Unless 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 the six point five inch iPhone um, XL 
blows me away, which I doubt that it will because it's just going to be a big canvas. If they don't use a split screen and do all this stuff like I could do on here, they what they better do is take some of those features from the iPad and push it over to the 6.5 screen uh, iPhone. That's what they better do because they already can't compete with the, 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 the Note 8 is a better phone than the iPhone X, right? Slash here. The Note 9 is probably going to be a better phone than the new iPhone XL 6.5. Just saying. This is my new king right here for now, man. And it's going to take a lot to get this bad boy knocked off the throne. It's your man, Jay Will. Let's fade to black.